friends are counting on us. Hello guys and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront video. In today's video we're taking an in-depth look at Princess Leia and how to use her. Princess Leia is a playable rebel hero and she's been in the game since launch. Like all the heroes in Star Wars Battlefront, Princess Leia has three abilities. The first of which is called Trooper Bane and this turns Leia's gun into a semi-automatic weapon so you have to fire each time you want to shoot and has a lower rate of fire. And it's also a one-shot kill on most infantry and like a two-shot kill on bodyguards, so it's really powerful. It has a very slow rate of fire and it can shoot through her squad shield, which is another one of her abilities. So this is very useful for setting up a shield so you can't be shot, but you can shoot through your own shield to hit stormtroopers, killing them off one at a time. Leia's next ability is called the Enhanced Squad Shield. And like the normal squad shield that you get as a pickup, it is useful for blocking projectiles and providing your teammates with cover, but Leia's shield is way larger than the pickup version, so it can hold a lot more people and protect a lot more of your teammates. Uh, paired with Leia's trooper bane, she can shoot through the shield, as I mentioned before, so she can pick off enemies while they can't do any damage to her, which is very useful. But of course, like the normal squad shield, it can be penetrated by the scatter gun and Palpatine's force lightning and Vader's saber throw. But grenades do bounce off, so you're protected from grenades, but not solid projectiles like the scatter gun. Her third and final ability is called Supply Drop, and when activated, Leia will drop a random power up, and these can range from, you know, the smart rockets, the droids, orbital strikes, anything that can normally be picked up. But in hero battles, hero hunt, and heroes versus villain, Leia drops health, so he can heal. She, not he, <laughs> she can heal other friendly, friendly heroes like Luke and herself. Also, I mean, most people just use it to heal themselves, but I try to heal my teammates when possible. So this can keep your team buffed up or you buffed up if you're in hero hunt. I don't even think Leia is that good at hero hunt, but she might be. But we'll have to see. Also with Leia's supply drop, it is useful to use this when you're out of the range of fire or behind some cover because Leia does do an animation, and while she does do her animation, she is vulnerable to attack, which kind of negates the whole thing. If you lose more health, then grabbing your pickup won't do as much as it would have if you used it behind cover, so you want to get behind cover, use the ability, and then pick it up so you have more health than you would have if you just lost health and then picked it up. Like I've mentioned before, all the hero abilities are meant to work well with each other, so a good strategy I like to use when coming up against people is of course popping the squad shield up, and then activating a trooper bane and picking people off, and if you take any damage while you're, while you're in there, just heal yourself, and once your trooper bane runs out, run out of the shield, shoot normal with your gun, and then run back in as soon as it's overheated or you killed someone, and then activate a trooper bane again when it's ready, and just keep firing through the shield and keep the shield up at all times and Leia should be protected. She shouldn't be up in the battle because she doesn't have a lot of health but you should keep her just away from battle where she can still be effective and damage enemies while also protecting your own friendly units. Now like Emperor Palpatine and Director Krennic, Leia can spawn honor guards and these allow friendly players to spawn in next to Leia and become an Alderaan honor guard these honor guards are armed with an enhanced TH-17 blaster pistol and equipped with a homing shot and a smart rocket. A maximum of two honor guards can be present in the battlefield at any one time. So like Emperor Palpatine's, Emperor Palpatine's royal guard, they protect her and their cooldowns are reduced when standing next to her. And they're very useful to flank Leia and always keep her protected at all sides, although most people just go off and die instantly, but I don't know why they do that. It makes me upset when they do that. They're supposed to be protecting Leia, not get themselves killed, but some people do it right. I tend to save the hero, but yeah. As for Leia's weapon, she is armed with an enhanced E-11 blaster rifle, which is the standard weapon for the Imperial Stormtroopers, and at most it takes four hits to kill enemies, so it is enhanced. It will do more damage. And, of course, it is the basis for her Trooper Bane ability, which will turn the gun into a 
almost like cannon, just firing away at enemies, knocking them out. It sends them flying when they hit my trooper bane. It's very funny to watch sometimes. And I enjoy it. In the Rogue One Scarif DLC, Leia was given a trait. Leia's trait is called Champion of Alderaan, and with this trait, her armor increases with more kills or hero damage, meaning that she can take more damage and blasters will do less to her. Leia will provide armor for herself and friendly units with each trait level, and she receives a higher bonus than her troops. So if she gets up to two armor, her troops around her now have one. So she's also very helpful to stick near if she's doing a lot of damage. You will get more armor in turn, keeping you and Leia alive, meaning you can just push forward and wipe everyone out. This will improve Leia's support and counter Krennic's own trait, which is the exact opposite. He gives uh, armor to himself and his allies, so it's kind of a flip-flop of traits there. So as a summary, using all of Leia's abilities together and effectively, you'll be a very powerful hero on the battlefield. As Leia, you'll be buffing, healing, providing cover, and also be on the offensive a lot. If you use her right, she could be the most powerful hero character. So, as Leia, you should hang back and pick your ground, use the map's natural cover together with the shield, and force enemies to come to you through the channels you create. So set up your shield by some rocks, and by some other rocks, so the only way for enemies to get to you is to come through your shield, when you can just pick them off. And when you're coming up against people like Darth Vader, be sure to sh set up your shield, hit him with the Trooper Bane through, it breaks his block like Han Solo's Lucky Shot does, so he can do some damage, and if he comes through, roll away, keep rolling, keep protecting yourself, and set up your shield again, and just keep away from Darth Vader, because if he can land one lightsaber strike on you, the odds are you're gonna die. If this video helped you, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. I will be doing another one of these videos for all of the heroes and villains in the game, as well as keeping updated on Star Wars Battlefront and Battlefront 2 news. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and may the Force be with you.